Hi everyone and welcome to the latest edition of Pompey Women's Vlogs. It's Pompey's first away game of the season and we've travelled down to Bristol to watch Keensham versus Pompey. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for another vlog. Uh, finally, Pompey women have an away game. Finally. It's about time, five home games on the trot, mainly due to postponements and a couple of cup draws were home games. So we've ended up at home for the first six weeks. Uh, I say it's nice to be away, but yeah, I guess it is. It's nice to be on the road. Quite a long one today though, about two and a half hours to get here. Uh, we've come to Bristol. We're here at Kingsham Town Football Club. Um, so, should we show them around, see what's going on? Yeah. Okay, so, if you remember, we did play here last year. We played here in the Cup and we lost 2-1 to a very late goal. But this is the setup here, so we have a clubhouse over there. And then you've got a really, really nice uh, 3G pitch. It's, it, it's such a good quality pitch here. Uh, you've got the dugouts over there. And then you've got that amazing view to the side of the pitch. I never noticed that. And then just more, we've got more pitches and rugby pitches down here. So yeah, it's a really nice setup here. So hopefully, Pompey will get a win today. So Pompey are a little bit behind on their league schedule. We've had a few games called off frustratingly, a bit like the men really, quite a yeah. disjointed start to the season, hasn't it? It seems to be like, a game then a game called off and it's just yeah. really frustrating but today we take on Keensham Town they were promoted into the league last year they were a very very strong side last year um, they lost a few players and they've not quite found their feet in the league this year they're currently down near the bottom they haven't won any of their their first few games um, for, from a Pompey point of view obviously with the form they're in we're going to be targeting three points today um, football doesn't work um, as it should <laughs> There's no guarantee today, Kingsham are, are at home, um, they're going to be well up for this and um, we're really going to have to put in a performance to, to get three points here. Um, we do have quality in our squad to do that. Um, we've got a new signing, Rosie McDonnell, a left back, she's joined us from title winners Coventry. Um, that's, good. that's a good addition to our squad. Um, so yeah, I don't know if she's playing today, we haven't got the line up yet. So Abby, what are your thoughts on today's um, game? Well, all we have to do is put in a good performance. Like. They, they would be okay, but we just need to put in that performance to win three points. <laughs> Abby, Abby's going to work as a pundit for match of the day, aren't you, Abby? Mm -hmm. No, it's fine, Abby. <laughs> so, yeah, we put, put in a shift and just see, see how it goes. We have got a lot of quality in our squad this season, and really it's time to start making that show. Now we've got a run of games. Um, we play Keensham today, we've got Chichester on Wednesday night, and then we're away to Leighton Orient in the Cup next week. So we've got a run of three games this week. And uh, to be honest, Jay, the manager will be targeting three wins, um, and so he should. So let's see how it goes today. The lineup's out. Let's see who's starting today. So let's see how Pompey line up today. We've got Mel Burns in goal. Uh, we've got a back five of Laura Ingram, Becca Tonks, Captain Amelia Southgate, Ailey Curry, and new signing Rosie McDonnell. A midfield three of Jade Bradley, Roxy Lee Stewart, and Becky Bath. And up top, we've got Charmaine True and Tamsin DeBunson. On the bench today, we've got Dan Rowe, Jade Widows, Jazz Younger, Mia Adaway, and Hayley Bridge. Because that's what enables you to get into the right position. <laughs>
So in the 13th minute here, I'm just going to add a bit of comms to this because it's a bit confusing as to what's going on. Um, the ref stopped play, so they've given a drop ball. Um, Kingshan, they took the drop ball, but they, they took it too early or something. So he ordered them to retake it. Now from a drop ball, you're not actually allowed to score from a drop ball. Um, but as you'll see here, the, the ref drops it, the Kingshan player shoots. Uh, Mel's caught off guard and it bounces over and goes in. Now, if you score from a drop ball, technically, that should be a goal kick because you're not allowed to do it and it should have been disallowed. However, the ref didn't do that. He actually gave the goal. So, um, it stood. Just gonna add another bit of commentary to this. Um, this is a Keenshan free kick. Um, the cross comes in, Mel comes for the ball and actually headbutts a Keenshan player. Um, this led to quite a lengthy stoppage, about 10, 12 minutes. Um, the Keenshan player came off worse, I think. Mel was taken off as a precaution, but um, she seemed okay after the game, thankfully. And the Keenshan player looked a bit worse for wear, but um, we wish her a speedy recovery. Hopefully she wasn't too badly hurt from that. So joined by Hattrick hero Becky Bath. Becky, how do, how did it go? Did you like that? Yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, it was good fun. Um, I think the team worked together so well. Uh, obviously we had Mel injured, um, but when Jazz come on, absolute 
quality and we did and we helped her out as well so because we started awesome. really fast didn't we first 12 minutes were frantic i couldn't even get the text updates out quick enough yeah um was that the game plan was that what jay said to you before you I came think, out yeah um yeah i think that's just what we're going to naturally start doing now because um i think then first 15 minutes for us are really critical um it's either make or break with us we've a go in really slow in and kind of let the other team have more uh, like possession and, and uh, all we, we do we, we attack and we try and pinch up first quick goal and then because uh, we've got goals through the team now haven't we like for yes. compared to last season yes. I mean our goal scores all spread out that, that's got to be a positive thing for a yeah, side yeah yeah we work hard in training and, and that's the aim I think um, defence a class anyway um, I think we just needed just a couple of goal scorers um, and yeah, I think we've got that now, so it's all good. It's been quite a disruptive start to the season, hasn't it? Because we've had games called off, and now we've got a couple more games in quick succession. Obviously, going to be going for for two more wins: Chichester yeah. on Wednesday and Leighton Orient Saturday, yeah, uh, Sunday. Of course, yeah. Um, always want to win, don't we? So it's an impressive result, though. This, so was it seven goals? Crawley league leaders only managed one here, and we got seven. Yeah. What is that? Are we yeah. six times better than Crawley? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that works out. <laughs> but no, yeah, we're. Um, We've got a class team this season and hopefully we do well. So Yeah, it's really good. Well thanks for joining no us worries. on the vlog and Thank congratulations you. on your hat. Thank Where's you your ball? <laughs> you don't get to keep them at this no, level, is that how it works? Cheers, Becky. No Thank worries. you. Thanks, guys. Joined on the vlog by Pompey Women Manager Jay said that Jay what a result what a fantastic result that is yeah really good I'm really happy with the performance overall I think we play some fantastic football in possession everything we've been working on um, with our movement our shape um, came to fruition on the pitch um, obviously there's certain areas we know wasn't a perfect performance there were certain shaky moments that we had to see out and I think Canesham did put us on a little bit of pressure mm. and we, we've got a um, we, we knew it was going to be a hard game and we most teams but even though they have been beaten um, there's only barely our goal or, or two goals so we knew we had to be on our game but I think our attack and play today was just on fire well that's what we're saying to Becky like Crawley who were league leaders um, only scored one here and we've just scored seven what does that say about our attacking prowess yeah and their, their goal was offside <laughs> according to the chairman so Crawley they gave them a real tight game they were in it against Yeovil um, whereas with us today just like I said I think a lot of people were on it even uh, Jay Widows when she came off the bench she gave us impact um, as a whole squad um, it was a, a fantastic performance and I think it really is testament to the group of players you look at the bench it's one of the strongest benches I've seen us have um, and the players that were on the pitch turned it on I think Tam the movement Beck um, insane and even Rosie give her credit she's first game she's only been training with us a week yeah so we, we thought she had a great game and we were saying before the game if you look at our bench the strength you could bring on players who could change the game and that's exactly yeah. what you did Dan calmed it down a bit yeah, and Jade was just a nightmare for them I mean the last person you want is Jade Widow's coming yeah. on yeah and you've even got <laughs> Hayley to come on with her pace in behind yeah. you've got Mia who's got bundles of energy and, and Jazz obviously coming on in goal, in goal yeah. position <laughs> she expected to but no I think and even with Rosie going into to that position it, it freed up Hayley to go a little bit deeper and, and her forward balls today were outstanding to split the to split yeah. the line and like you said there's still a little bit of elements in terms of our distances between units we need to work on and but overall we've got to be happy um we've got to enjoy this and and, and really go and take a lot of these positives yeah. into first Wednesday. away game of the season seven goals scored yeah and now we've journey. got two more away games it gets very dangerous opposition yeah. chichester and uh, Leighton Orient both can't be underestimated what's your, going yeah. to be your message to the girls going into those same as the one today we, we knew these were at the time bottom of the league um, or, or near the bottom I think Hounslow got the point um, that, that propped them up um, so it's kind of coming here no complacency we have to come away with, with the win um, and we can put that pressure on last year we didn't have that pressure but now we know we've got the quality and we've got to put pressure on ourselves to do better um, and we did that and we, we know we've got to do that against Chichester but we know they're going to be hungry they're young they're energetic um, and they know what this game means to both football clubs it is a over the years it has been a bit of a, a feisty affair yeah, with yeah. a few changes of, of personnel and whatnot it's still going to be one of them games under the lights um, but we're coming in off the back of a very good win a very good performance um, and, and even in further on late Orient, they're going to be a, a test and there's a lot of teams in the leagues below that would give a lot of teams in our league a game um, and late Orient are one physical team unbeaten in seven mm, they've won today. a lot of games this year yeah, so yeah they might have won again today I think so um, it's going to be interesting so but to keep keep focused on the next game focus on training we'll get in we'll do a recovery session a few set pieces and, and then we'll go out Wednesday night and hopefully get another win well brilliant thanks for joining us Cheers and we'll no see you on Wednesday all. see you Wednesday yeah <laughs> okay so that wraps up this vlog what a performance from the girls what do you think Abby? well attacking wise we were brilliant and Becky Bath just worked her socks off yeah she did really well didn't she um, 
we had to the defense really had to dig in at times because they had a few you know opposition are always going to come on to you mm -hmm. um and the defense did well to to hold on and keep it down to two but our attacking play we're just so good in the final third and we've got goals throughout the midfield and the front line and on the bench and that showed today with jade coming off the bench and scoring just really good what an away day seven goals away from home in our first away game of the season literally you just can't ask for any more than that no rest for the girls though wednesday night we've got chichester away at oaklands they are a tough side they work their socks off so that is not going to be an easy fixture and then on the sunday we've got leighton orient um who are on fire in they are in the tier below us but they're on fire this season we've got them in the cup and that's not going to be an easy game either so two tough games coming up so wednesday night then for Chichester so thank you for joining us today we really appreciate it hopefully you liked all the goals and the interviews so we'll say bye to everyone bye we'll see we'll have a vlog for you on Wednesday which yep. should be out by the Friday so thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time